that is made up of hexadecimal. So we're going to take it two bits at a time from left to right, or two digits at a time from left to right. And so we have we have CD here. Let's do this. We have CD and CD equals it equals uh, basically you have D. What is D in hexadecimal? Well, we have one through nine in hex, and then we have A is ten. B is 11, C is 12, and 13 is D. So we have we have 1 times 13 is 13 plus 16 because the C here is the second the C is the second uh, the second part of it. So if you're familiar with binary, you know it's 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1 is whatever, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, this is the same thing, except it's just base 16. So it's 16 times C, and we know that C is, what is C? C is, well, we know that D was 13, so we put some parentheses here so we can separate these in the proper notation so we know that uh, if D is 13 then C has to be 12 so there we go so we're gonna get 16 times 12 16 times 12 here and this is gonna be a pretty big number Right, so let's bring up our calculator. Let's figure this out. So we have decimal. We have 16 times 12, 192. So now we have 13 plus 192. And excuse me for my typo here. That's 205. So we know that the first bit is 205. What do we have here? What's the next one? We have 98. So 98 is simply is simply 16 times 9, 144, and we have 8. 1 times 8 is 8. So we have 144 plus 8 equals 152. Let's jump to the next one. We have 90. So 90 is 1 times 0. We know that's 0. And then we have 9 times 16. So we have 16 times 9. And what does that equal? 144. Okay, and what's the last group we have here? You can see here we already have the first three octets of the IPv4 address. We have 205.152.144. So we know we have one more octet left, and that octet is EB. So what does EB equal? EB is, what's B? A is 10, B is 11. We have 11 times 1. That's 11. And what do we have? We have E. And we know F is 16, so E has to be 15. We have 15 times 16 equals 240. So we have 240 plus 11. What does that equal? 251. So our address is 205. Let's do IPv4 is equal to 205. Dot, what is the next one? 152.144.251. So if we can double check here, you'll see that we have, for the last bit here, we have 11 times 1 equals 11, and we have 15 times 16 equals 240. 240 plus 211 is 251. There you go. 
So there we're set. So now that we've done this one, let's go through the next one just for practice here. The next one we have 19 equals 1 times 16 and we have 9 times 1, 16. So we have 16 plus 9 equals 25. Let's shrink our font down here, save some room here. Maybe not that small. We say, we say 14 should be fine. So the next one we have 91. So we have 9 times 16 equals 144. And we have 1 times 1. We have 1. So that equals 145. And what's our next group we have here? We have 7b. 7 times 16 equals 112. And we have b is 11. 11 plus 11. So we have 123. Look at that. 123. Right? Did I get that right? 112 plus 11 is 123. And we have uh, 3a. So we have 3a. 3 times 16 equals 48. And what is a? a is 1 times 10 plus 10. That's 58. Right? 48 plus 58. So our address is 25.145.123 dot 58. Look at that. There's our address. So the last one here, we're going to do it real fast. We have A, which is 10, times 16. So that's 160. Dot, next one is two zeros. That's zero. Dot zero. Dot, and what's the last one? 10. So we have 160.0.0.10. So that's that IP address for you. And so now we have a little bit of practice with converting between hexadecimal and and uh, decimal. And if we do it uh, two digits at a time, from left to right, we'll be able to do this very, very quickly, and you'll get used to doing this. And the 2002 and 2001 and the colon FFFF, the four Fs, those three versions of our special address types, right, so we have the Torito, you're going to be doing a lot of Torito tunneling as we start migrating towards IPv6. The 2002 for when you're showing people is also going to be a big thing that you're probably going to be doing a lot or seeing a lot in textbooks or in documentation. And then of course you have the FFF slash 96. And so being able to convert and to do these numbers like that, uh, and I am by no means an expert, I'm horrible at math, but uh, I don't think I've, you know, I don't think that was too hard is really going to help us master IPv6 and uh, and move into uh, and become really the administrator that, that you want to be. Uh, in the future, uh, to quote a CCIE that I know, uh, there's going to be two types of admins. There's going to be those that know IPv6 and those that don't. And those that don't will not have jobs or they'll have very low paid jobs. Uh, so I highly recommend that you make the choice uh, come in and, and do this IPv6, get it done, master it, because when you do, you're going to see that it's going to help your career, it's going to open doorways for you, and it's going to just make you a better, more more well-rounded uh, administrator. And so that's IPv6. The next part of the series, we will be talking about 2008. We'll have some VMware machines here for you, and uh, we'll set up a full Active Directory DNS uh, network with uh, three domain controllers, replication between sites, all using IPv6, only IPv6. There will, we will not be running dual stack, we'll be running only IPv6. And then we're going to take a look at how that works out, some of the problems and snags you may run into. We're going to look at setting up stateful and stateless DHCP v6 underneath Wint Server 2008. And we're going to talk a little bit about migration strategies and your strategy for uh, migrating and integrating with IPv6. There are several strategies such as dual stack, uh, NAT PT, uh, and translation. So there are a couple different strategies. We'll talk about them. And uh, and we'll go from there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video on IPv6. 
Uh, and uh, we'll see you uh, in the second part of our series. And I hope this made IPv6 a little bit clearer for you. It's just a little bit of practice and get used to seeing it, to understand it. And I, I really think that you will, uh, you know, it's not as hard as it looks. You just have to get into it. It's really not as hard as it looks. Anyways, good luck, and we'll, we'll see you in the next part of our series here.